Sage CRM 2021 R1 has introduced the ability to configure the advanced email manager to use OAuth 2 to connect to either Gmail, Google Workspace, or Microsoft 365 Exchange. Customers who are using Exchange or another email server on their own machines can continue to use basic authentication. I've assumed for the purposes of this video that you've already made the preparations for Sage CRM to be a registered application that can use OAuth2. Sage CRM must be registered as an application for either Google or Active Directory. The Sage CRM application will then request that the user grants access to data in their Google or Exchange account. After consent is given, the Sage CRM application requests and receives credentials to access either Gmail or Exchange, and these credentials can be updated or refreshed as necessary. A registered application must be created to allow you to obtain the public client ID and private client secret. Once we have the client ID and secret, then we can use these to configure the advanced email manager. You can now copy the client ID and secret that is displayed and store them in a file. In my case, I drop them into a text editor. Once we have the client ID and secret, we can use these to configure the email management server options. And you can see I've started to do this by logging on into Sage CRM. I've navigated into the administration screens and from the administration area, I need to select email and documents and then Email Manager Server Options. I can click New to create a new account that will be monitored. Here, I can either continue to use Basic Authentication or OAuth2 at this point, and I'm going to select OAuth2 for Gmail. On this screen, I've added in the email address to be monitored, the details of the OAuth2 client ID, the OAuth2 client secret, and you'll notice that I have also set the definitions for the incoming POP server, which in my case, because I'm connecting through to Gmail, pop.gmail.com, with SSL being used, port 995. And the outgoing mail server is smtpgmail.com, requires SSL, yes, Oh, sorry, TLS, yes, um, and I've also made sure that um, the port is 587. All the other fields are described uh, in the training videos covering the advanced mail manager. Once I save that, I'm going to get prompted to grant permission for my application to access the Gmail account. Once that permission is granted, that completes the configuration of the email management server options for OAuth2.